Okay, so in this video, we're going to tackle this adding problem right here. Now, uh, this uh, uh, video is really designed for those of you that have already have uh, finished school, um, obviously been, you know, beyond elementary school. This is where you learn this, primary school, elementary school. Uh, however, uh, if you are a young person and watching this video, well, then uh, hopefully this will help you out as well. But uh, arithmetic is very, very important, okay, and uh, unfortunately, um, and it's just kind of uh, the way it is. The more we use our calculator and get away from doing arithmetic by hand, the more our skills become rusty. And uh, you can get to the point where you actually forget how to do this stuff. And that's not good because just imagine you're in a situation where you actually have to do some basic arithmetic. You don't have your phone. You don't have your calculator. Well, then you're going to have to rely on this calculator right up here which is always the best calculator anyway. So that's your brain housing group, as we used to say in the Marine Corps. But um, anyway, so we have this basic addition problem. Now, I'm going to do it the way I was taught back in the good old 1970s in Southern California when I was in elementary school. So uh, your technique or the way you structure um, to do this problem might be slightly different. Um, but what uh, really counts is that you're able to get uh, the correct answer. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and, and do this, obviously the whole point here uh, to do this problem is not to use your calculator, uh, but to go ahead and just do some basic arithmetic. Okay, so we're going to uh, solve this problem or do this problem here in just one second. Uh, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and uh, over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, uh, if you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video, but basically my focus is in middle and high school math and beyond. Uh, so I don't teach elementary uh, school, of course, you know, being a math guy, I definitely know uh, arithmetic, but... Um, my courses uh, start from pre-algebra right now. So I have pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm gonna be launching pre-calculus here shortly. I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for a test uh, like the GED, high set task, uh, ACT, SAT, uh, let's see what other ones, CLEP, Accuplace or Alex, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam like the TEAS. Uh, there's a ton of uh, exams out there for all different type of careers and uh, purposes that uh, people have to take and uh, there's a lot of math on these exams. You don't do well in the math section, you don't do well in exams. So let me help you prepare. Just go to my website. Again, the link will be in the description of this video and uh, uh, you should find your exam. If you do not, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program and then obviously help those of you that are just struggling in your current math courses. Now, if you truly want to uh, learn math and improve, then you got to be serious about note-taking. Uh, there's just no way um, around it. Over decades of teaching mathematics, it's just clear to me, okay, those students who really put in the daily work, okay, are consistent, have great notes. They always look like this person right here at the end of the year. And then the reverse is true. Those students who uh, were like me, not in the 1970s, I think I was pretty good in elementary school, but you know, when I got into like high school in the 1980s, I was completely distracted. Definitely wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing and my grades were like this. I was like, what? I got a, what? I, I don't deserve a C minus. Of course, I wasn't doing the work. I wasn't taking notes. You know how it goes. So you have to decide when you, um, how serious you are about learning math. So there's no shortcuts, but if you take uh, great math notes, things are gonna go really, really well for you. But in the meantime, you can use my notes as you're fixing your notes. Uh, so my notes would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links uh, to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and knock out this problem real quick. And uh, of course we can do more addition problems, but I think if we can handle this, uh, that's enough. Now, I, I was gonna put, you know, more digits here, more numbers, but we just want to review the basic concepts. And again, uh, the way I um, did this problem, it could very well be uh, different than the way you did your problem, as long as we got the same answer, and that answer is 5441. All right, so you can see here I have my work, but let me walk you through my work right here. And uh, if you want to go ahead and redo this problem and see if you can get this um, answer this uh, uh this is the correct answer obviously if you want to try it again go ahead and pause the video and try it again because maybe you made a little error all right so what do we do well we got to start right here right okay 
So let's see, 9 plus 2, if my math is uh, well uh, today, 9 plus 2, I believe that is 11, right? So we put, and we're thinking 11 in our brain, but we have to put this digit, that last digit right here, and then we put that other digit, the front digit right there, okay? So I'm kind of speaking in basic, you know, uh, vernacular here. Uh, so 9 plus 2 is 11, put the one right there, put the other one right there, and now what are we going to do? Now we're going to add all these numbers up. So I got a 7. I'm doing a little mental math. I'm thinking, in, from my brain, I'm thinking like this. Now I can go 7 plus 1, that's 8, and then add a 6. But I got this 6, I go, you know what? If I take that 1, I add it to the 6, I'll have 7 and 7. And my brain is saying, oh, that's an easier way to kind of add up these three numbers. Again, you don't have to do it the way uh, you know I'm thinking about it, as long as you get the right answer. Uh, but the bottom line is, now this is 14. So again, the answer is 14. So I'm going to put this number, the 4, right here. Okay, then I'm going to put that front digit right there. And then we're just going to continue on. I'm going to add down like so. So I got uh, 0, this is easy to add up. 0 plus 3 plus 1, that is obviously 4. That's a single digit, so I don't have to carry anything. And then I'm going to finish up the problem by just adding down like here. 4 plus 1, that is 5. And there is our answer. Okay, so if you got this uh, problem correct, you know, it's pretty easy. But uh, still, you are most deserving of a happy face. Um, I won't give you a mohawk because, you know, that's this is still elementary school. There wasn't anybody in my uh, elementary school that was running around with mohawks, at least not back in those days. Um, but anyways, I, I will give you an A+. Plus and a bunch of stars because that's what we remember. At least that's what I remember way back in elementary school and you felt so proud about your work. Anyways, um, if you forgot how to do this problem, don't, you know, uh, you know, don't panic. Um, however, you know, you might want to consider, you know, just uh, putting in a little investment to improve your arithmetic. Okay. Now, of course, I teach, uh, let me just kind of do this real quick, just to kind of connect this video to what I do. So here we have elementary school, here we have middle school, and here we have high school, and obviously beyond high school, there's college. But in elementary school, you're learning all this kind of stuff. And, you know, you need to understand that arithmetic is very, very critically important because in middle school, you make the transition into, you know, like algebra and beyond, algebra, geometry, uh, eventually up to calculus, into college, and if you continue to learn mathematics, but this math is interconnected, right? It's not like it's a discrete one subject. It's not like, oh, here's arithmetic, and uh, arithmetic is only, you know, uh, taught, and I'll, I only have to be concerned about it here, and then I kind of for, uh, forget about it when I go over here, right? That's not the case, because algebra uh, really uh, relies heavily on uh, the processes and techniques that we learn in arithmetic, right? Just trust me on this. There's so many... Um, uh, things that we have to do, like when you study fractions, uh, this is done in elementary school. You got to know how to find the LCD. Uh, you got to know how to divide, division. There's all kinds of stuff that is extremely important that we learn in elementary school or primary school, whatever you want to call it, uh, grades one through five. And if you are older and you you know you feel like you're pretty strong in arithmetic, then you should pause for a moment and reflect back on those teachers that taught you all this stuff. All right. Um, I doubt most of us can remember their names. I can think of, I kind of remember in my mind's eye what they look like, some of my teachers, but uh, I really wish I d uh, did remember their names. I'd have to maybe try to look up some, some old paperwork or maybe some class photos or whatnot. But, um, you know, as a teacher myself, uh, you know, your teachers do important things, but somebody taught you all this stuff and it didn't just uh, automatically happen. So, you know, um, you know, teachers out there, or for those of you who are going to become teachers, you know, you make a big impact on people's lives. Sometimes you're not remembered, but that's not the name of the game. You don't do it uh, um, to, you know, uh, feel good about yourself per se. You do it because, you you know, you truly care. So anyways, um, if you did remember this division or this addition, that's excellent, okay? So anyways, uh, just so you know, that arithmetic is extremely important. I'm going to be doing some other videos here. Typically, I do most of my videos in algebra and more advanced mathematics, but it's good to review this basic stuff. And I'm going to be doing some other videos 
um, as well here uh, um, by the time I post this video, if you're just curious, on uh, more arithmetic, like dividing decimals, which would definitely make most people look like this. They're like, dividing decimals? I totally forgot that. Well, we'll see about that because I'm going to be posting the video pretty soon, and you can challenge yourself to see if you remember how to do that as well. Um, you can find um, my basic videos generally in my pre-algebra uh, playlist. So if you uh, want to follow up and challenge yourself with more arithmetic problems, that's where you want to go. All right. If uh, in some small way you enjoyed this video or you thought it was helpful, uh, please consider smashing that like button. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand videos, uh, mostly uh, uh, middle and school, high school, and, and more advanced mathematics. But I do do some basic stuff like this as well. Uh, if you go to my main channel, you'll see uh, my various playlists there organized. But uh, if you want my best math help, that will be within my math help program. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.